Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And please, next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a front axle on this 2002 Chevy Suburban. And we show you on the passenger side, but the driver's side is the same procedure. And it's the same part and similar process on these Suburbans from 2000 to 2006. And the items you need for this is a new front axle from 1AAuto.com, 14, 15, 22, 35, and 36 millimeter sockets and a ratchet with an extension, a pry bar, locking pliers, a torque wrench, jack and jack stands, and a reciprocating saw depending on the condition of your vehicle. Loosen the lug nut caps and remove the hub cap. And then pry off this cap as well. And then loosen this 35 millimeter nut, but don't remove it. Now you want to remove the lug nuts. If you don't have air powered tools, you want to do it while the vehicle's on the ground. You just loosen them preliminarily, raise the vehicle, remove the lug nuts the rest of the way, and then pull the wheel off. Using locking pliers, clip onto the top of your stabilizer link and then remove this 14 millimeter bolt. And we'll just fast forward as Mike does that. If you have air powered tools, you can just remove this 35 millimeter nut the rest of the way and then remove the washer behind it. If you don't, you can use your socket and ratchet, but you will need someone to apply the brakes while you do this. And you also want to remove the stabilizer link now. And ours is jammed in there. You can try with a hammer to knock it out. But we have to end up using a reciprocating saw to remove it the rest of the way meaning we will need to use a new stabilizer link. Now you want to remove these bolts around the axle. Use a pry bar on the hub to just hold that into place and then loosen up and remove each of those 15 millimeter bolts. Now just hammer the axle over to the side a little bit to break it free and then pull it straight back and out of the wheel and just pull it down and out. Up top is the new axle from One Auto. On the bottom is the original. You can see they're identical. Uh, the new axle does come with a new nut that is 36 millimeter. Now feed your axle back into place. Line up the back and just replace those 15 millimeter bolts. And we'll just fast forward as Mike does this. Now using your pry bar to hold the wheel still again, you just want to torque each of those bolts to 65 foot-pounds. Now you want to put your stabilizer link back into place, starting with a washer and a grommet, then through the hole 
and then another grommet, then a washer, then the tube. And then before going through the next hole, another washer and then a grommet. And then on the top, another grommet and another washer. Then the and just put your jack underneath the bolt part of that stabilizer link and raise up the jack and that'll push um, that bolt up in there, compress a couple of the um, bushings and then you can put your uh, bolt, washer and bolt onto the top side. and tighten up the stabilizer link and you basically want to tighten it up until the bushings compress and are the same diameter as uh, the washers. Now replace this 35 millimeter nut and tighten it up. Put the wheel back into place. And then replace each of your lug nuts and tighten them up. And you want to tighten them preliminarily, lower the vehicle, and then tighten them the rest of the way. Torque the hub nut to 160 foot pounds, then replace the dust cap as well as the hub cap and tighten up the plastic lugs. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888 844 3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.